Desert High School over at the WSM Women's Division Conference matchup. It's volleyball, Cross Northwest Ohio has the number four rated in Division Four. Tiffin Calvert Senecas are here to play the number ten rated in Division Two. Liberty Benton Eagles. My name is Mark Shine. My pleasure to do play by play alongside Mr. Miles Holiday. Miles, we have a very interesting match between two quality programs. Well, wow, Mark, they're playing danger zone over the PA right now, <laughs> and they should because this is a danger zone to come in here. This is a great Liberty Benton squad and another great squad as well. Tiffin Calvert, the Senecas, sporting an 18 and two record. Liberty Benton, 72, 17 and two. These two are absolutely elite. Two teams that are perennial state championship teams. Uh, we'll get to that as the evening unfolds a little bit. How about keys to the match tonight? Yeah, where else would you rather be than right here, right uh, now, watching this, right? This yeah. is great. This is packed. But let's get to some keys to the game. First of the visitors, uh, Tiffin Calvert. Number one, sweet Caroline. Caroline Lanichek, 203 kills. Get her involved early. She is a monster at the net. Number two, cut down the willow tree. Well, the willow tree, who's that? That's Karis Willis, the Penn State commit. Watch out for her, 373 kills on the year. Hits 468, absolutely obscene. So you gotta cut her down. And then receive it up to Miller, Olivia Miller. She's got sweet hands, 545 assists for the Senecas this year. Get it up to her after the first hit. All right, do you have keys also? You wanna get out here for the Benton Eagles? Absolutely, number one, match early intensity. And Coach Todd, a little bit worried the fact that they haven't had great competition as of late. They're going to have it tonight. Make sure you have that intensity early. Number two, spread the wealth. That's going to be Todd and Hanny Wells. This is a team that has 312 overall. Make sure you don't focus too much on Karis Willow. You want to spread that ball around. And number three, set it off. Make sure you're not getting too close to the net on your sets. Play off it. Make sure those blocks can't get in your way. You set it off the net, it allows your hitters to have a better ability to get around the hit. Thank you for that, Miles. Let's cover a couple of things that are really pretty cool as the two teams are about to come on the floor. First of all, we know that Karis Willow is headed to Penn State, but today Lauren Gherkin, the six-foot junior, announced that she is now committed to play basketball at Bowling Green State University. Except a full ride there when her senior year completes after next volleyball basketball season. And one of the things we saw tonight, Miles, a young lady named Gabby Lyon put mm -hmm. together a very impressive a toy drive a little bit this evening. We honored her as well. Yeah, Gabby Lyon, uh, uh, 2016 here, unbelievable. Came back, may, sponsored a toy drive for the Cincinnati Children's Hospital. And the community, I would say they responded in a big way. Not only did that, I was out in the lobby just a moment ago, a lot of toys out there, but also a lot of cash laying there to help her purchase other toys as well. So congratulations. Always great to see young people come back and, and give to their community. Our officials today on the stand in the blue jersey this evening is Sue Phillips, and on the floor R2 is Leroy Clark. Uh, on your screen, Tiffin Calvert will be on the right. They are in the blue uniforms with white trim. And Liberty Benton Eagles, they are in the white jerseys. Their libero, uh, who is Claire Spies, is in a black jersey this evening. Yeah, you talked about Lauren Gherkin committing to Bowling Green State University. Boy, are they getting a good one. Had the opportunity oh. to broadcast her in uh, girls basketball a couple times last year. Unbelievable ability to handle the ball up top and then dominate inside. And, of course, she's a Gherkin. That means she can shoot. Uh, so they're, they're going to get a good one there. And we see Dad on the floor as a line judge tonight, too. That's pretty classy when the line judge is wearing a tie. <laughs> wearing pretty, a tie pretty, down pretty there? Cool. Yeah. A tie and sporting some. First uh, service will be Cameron Shook. She's a junior. I'm sorry, it's not Cameron Shook, it's Olivia Miller, 24 not 14. 18 and 2, 15 and 0 in the Susky Bay Conference for Tiffin Calvert, and her first serve is an ace. A tough read by Kara. She wanted to see if it was going to go out. Decided to let it hit. Line judge says, nope, that one fell in. It's ace early for the Senecas. Olivia Miller's 25th ace of the season. That hit was made by Hanny Wells. And then the tip for an open point will be Carly Miller. A smart move by Miller, taking care of the middle of the floor. Defense was empty there. Take the open spot. Seneca's out, up early, 2-0. Carly Miller is a freshman for this very good program. We'll get some of those numbers out to you in a moment. Here's the hit by Hanny Wells. And then just tipping it over the net and into the antenna. The attempt was made by Hannah Miller. That didn't get there. Yeah, it looked like Hannah just kind of mistimed her jump a little bit. Pretty good set off the net a little bit for her. Gave her the whole floor to use. Caitlin Jack serves. Set. 
And left-handed hit to the back row. That will be a point for Carolyn Lanachek. Yeah, Lanachek, who we talked about early in the pregame. Uh, unbelievable. Using that left hand, they've got this uh, Liberty Benton defense kind of scrambling a bit. Goes to the back corner. Here's Hannah Miller to serve. There's Lori Lombach's team. And that point will go to Lauren Gurkin. Hey, how to celebrate saying you're going to go play basketball at Bowling Green State. Let's snap one off, get your team a big point. Here's Lauren to serve, six foot junior. She has 37 aces this year to lead the Eagles. There's that left-handed tip out of the middle again by Lanachek. And then Willow. <laughs> Hello, oh. Karis. Oh, and Karis lets everybody know, hey, I can keep doing it. Mark, that was absolutely impressive. Yeah. Her, her ability to get off the floor is so impressive. The height that she can get, craziness. There's Gherkin serve, and that inadvertently hits Hannah Miller and becomes a point for Liberty Benton. Yeah, Hannah Miller got kind of handcuffed on that one. Gherkin had the knuckleball effect with a little speed on it. Pretty easy to see why she leads this team in aces this year. From her service position, same spot with that one. There's that left-handed kill attempt and got it in on the line by Lanachek. We're tied at four. Uh, early in this game, one thing is evident, Olivia Miller, she can get it anywhere you put it. Her ability to slide, get the first pass, and put it on a dime, it's impressive. Here's Cecilia Palm, the libero, to serve, and she missed that one, 5-4 in favor of the Eagles. Gave you the record for Tiffin Calvert, 18-2, 15-0 in the SBC. They have another match in their conference. They play Lakota tomorrow night to wrap up their league schedule. Another hit by a left-hander. That was Cameron Shook. Yeah, several left-handers yeah. on the floor. Set. Here's Willow again. That was blocked. They sent two blockers to her that time. The set this time by the libero, Palm. And pushed for the open area. Got it in. Nice shot by Allie Porter. I caught Willow kind of out of position. She was supposed to be playing angle. Went to the middle, smart play, taking care of it, going angle, getting a point. You don't have to hit it hard every time, just hit it where they're not. Here's Lanachek to serve. Set. And winding up, they're going to keep it alive. Good kill attempt by Barbara. That was Miller that got it up for the Senecas. Here's your libero making a good play. From the back row, an attempt by Hannah Miller gets a point. A little payback, Hannah Miller. Earlier, took one off the noggin. This time, she says, you know what? I'm going to pay you back. Carolyn Lanachek, the junior. 24 aces for her this season. Willow plays that one. This will be set to Willow. And got some overspin on it. Got that one dropped. A yeah, really good pass by Katie Cullert to get Willow an opportunity on that kill. Tough play by Kohler, but she made it look easy. Up on the scoreboard, it said Karis Willow had 1,164 kills during her career. School leader, and it says behind it, adding two. <laughs> yes, she did. A couple of them already tonight, and she serves this ball. Another left-handed hit. This one's by Shook. And a push to the back row, got it down. Sophia Barbara. And Barbara, the six-foot junior, taking advantage of her height. Eagles up by one with Willow serving again. This will be set for Nestrick. And then that kill attempt, Willow plays it in the back row. That was Porter. Here's your libero set. And a good kill. That one will chalk up to Allie Porter. Yeah, credit to Vic Calvert, though. Their coverage defensively, anticipating everything, getting every single shot back up in the air. That's got to be frustrating for Liberty Benton. And missed with that serve. Eagles get it back, leading by a point. This Is will it? be Spies to serve. Yeah, two really good serving teams. 93% coming in tonight for Liberty Benton, 90 for Tiffin Calvert. That kill goes to Hannah Miller, tied at eight. 
I think a little bit different philosophy, perhaps, Miles, than we see down in the Mercer County, uh, the Shelby County Athletic League, Mac. They have what they call high risk, high reward. They miss a lot of serves, right. but they score a lot of points off of service. Uh, talking to Coach Todd uh, earlier in the week, she said that their philosophy is they want to be aggressive, but if you miss one or two, just get it in. You got to yep. get it in. Don't give away free points. Oh, taking great angles, Hannah Miller. The second time Miller's gone angle at the net for a point. She knows what she's doing on that left-hand side. Mark, she had 1,000 kills early in the year. Impressive player. Good push in the middle. Nope, we got a blue shirt in the net. I am trying to read. Looks like 32, it looks like. I'm trying to read Mr. Clark's numbers on the other side of the floor. Yeah, I think that was a three-digit on yeah. the left hand. Carly Meyer. Speaking of a three, Jada Todd will serve, and then she will become the setter. And this time we get an eagle in the net, and it is number seven in the net. That is Laura Gherkin. Looking back through my score sheet, Tiffin Calvert led two to nothing. This is only the second time anybody's had a two-point lead in this match at 10-8. Nice play at the net by Gherkin to keep it alive. And then Hanny Wells tried to get it in, could not. Oh, Caroline Lanichek, she is dominant at the net. Mark, 66 yeah, blocks yeah. coming into the night. Builds up that total right away, too, back to back. Willow plays that one. Gherkin winds up, and that time she gets a kill. Oh, you got to like the competitive nature of Gherkin. Moments ago, she was stuffed at the net. Says, know what? I'm going to go at it again. Goes off the elbow that time for the point. Ertle Jack back in to serve, the 5'5 five five junior. There's that left handed kill attempt. And a joust to the net. That one is won by Candace Lanachek, uh, Caroline Lanachek. Now, uh, Lanachek just taking over this game. Is she ever? Just a junior. First team all conference in the SBC as a sophomore. <laughs> oh, nice play by the libero off a of Willow's hit. Now Gurkha just tips to the middle of the floor and she gets a point. Fastball doesn't work, you go change up. How about the courage of Palm though? Oh my. <laughs> this Karis Willow hit it at me as hard as you want. Willow with a howitzer, but then it was just a little touch by Gherkin for the point. Here's Gherkin right here. And her serve went long. 13-10 in favor of the Senecas. That is a tough read, isn't it? Oh. You don't want to make a mistake and let it land in front, but you hold your breath, letting it go, see if it's going to fall out. Well, sometimes you get help from those ladies on the bench. Sometimes they have a great angle on it. What's that? What do we got? Net again. I was thinking what a good play by that libero Palm again, but good call. number 10, I think, in the net. Yeah, Cecilia Palm, she is not faint of heart. She will dive yeah. absolutely everywhere. She's a junior. I think we're getting a little clarification who was in the net. Well, you, you want to talk yeah. about a tough serve. Yep. That right there was just ridiculous. The bottom just falls out of it. If you're a baseball fan, it's kind of like a split-finger fastball. I think it's a fastball coming in. Drops at the last second. Alyssa Hanny wells with that serve. Here she is again. Here's the set. And a good left-handed hit by Lanachek. Yeah, sweet Caroline. Bump, bump, bump. <laughs> Uh, don't do that because that, that, that song I, I'm not a fan of. Hey, at all. you know what? She is so good, so good, so good. Oh, okay. Willow just tips it over. That's played at the net, however. And then there's that Libero Palm again making another good play. Spiesel set this time. And Willow, is it in? Yeah, it was in. Yep. Linesman Mr. Gherkin says that was in. The top spin that she gets on it, absolutely impressive. Gets it to fall in. I was looking to the other line judge to see if the, the sideline was in. He didn't make a call, but apparently it was in there. So there's Willow to serve. Tied at 14. 
And speaking of 14, a kill by number 14, Cameron Shook. Hey, Cameron Shook, one of the many big hitters on this Tiffin Calvert team. 194 kills coming into the night. There's Allie Porter to serve. Rolls it off the top of the net. This will be Nestrick. Dumped over, good play by the libero, but also good play by Willow. That was Shook that tried to get the peekaboo for the point. And there's the point, that will go to Hannah Miller. Well, Hannah Miller on this left-hand side, she is just impressive. Third kill already from that left-hand side. Might want to call her queen kill because, Mark, she was the homecoming queen this That's year. That's right, she was, yeah. Tiffin Calvert Senecas. The coverage in the middle. This will be set. And it was set just a little bit too far, and that allowed Sophia Barber to get it back. Yeah, Barbara. Really a big presence in the middle of the floor. That was an easy one, right? You get a lot of great kills that you have to work hard for. That's one of the easy ones right at the net. She just went up and knocked it straight down. Good play by the setter that time, Olivia Miller. And then the big kill by Hannah Miller. One-on-one, -on -one, Miller versus Gherkin. Just hits right through Gherkin. Seneca's with a two-point lead. Yeah, Miller can bring some heat on it. And Gherkin pounded that one down. Yeah, tremendous set by Hanny Wells. Two girls on this team for Liberty Benton are just fantastic setting it up. Hanny Wells and Todd. Jada tied to serve. Spees played that one. It's Nestrick. What do we got? Yeah, four hits four against hits, yeah. Tiffin Calvert. One of the rare times that Olivia Miller wasn't able to save that one. Ran about 10 yards, tried to put it back on the net. Couldn't get it done. Tied at 17. And that kill will go to Hannah Miller. Oh, Hannah Miller. She's saying, the left side is my side. And then after the spike, how about the flex? Yeah, how about that? Here comes Lana check in. And uh, Shook, no, that's Shook served. And that one didn't get over, so it's a two-point lead, Seneca's. A yeah, big serve right here. It's my belief, Mark, first one to 20 usually wins that set. Then get this one right here, give him a three-point lead. Huge move. Willow from behind the 10-foot line. Good play. There's that libero palm again. She is a good one. And now she'll set. Spies will set. Those libero's are like having a, a second setter on the floor. Gherkin tips, but it's played. Unfortunately, Penacek had to play it twice. Yeah, two elite teams just scrambling oh. right there, wasn't it? That was fun. Really good. What a rally. Huge point for Liberty Benton to get that cut it back to one. Ertl Jack will serve. Set. Willow winds up, but she missed that time. There's her 20 points. Yeah, first one to 20 has such an advantage. Scoreboard today is sponsored by Charles River. And this will be Hannah Miller to serve. This will be Willow's shots blocked. It's blocked out of bounds, however. <laughs> How about that yeah. matchup? Lana check. Versus Willow. Playing above the net. Fun to watch. Service again. Gherkin. Maybe Benton trying to even this up. That set wasn't uh, Jada Todd's best. She was backing up and didn't have a feet underneath her to set it properly. And never really got her platform yeah. underneath her. I think we're going to have a timeout we here are. by Liberty Benton. 
First time out, we'll go to the Liberty Benton Eagles. They trail by two. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard is presented by Charles River and Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio. And they're hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. First time out, we'll go to Julie Todd's team. They trail by two. The service will go to the Tiffin Calvert Senecas. I gave you the record for Tiffin Calvert. Liberty at 18 and two. They are nine and zero and won the Blanchard Valley Conference for the sixth time in a row, and they're on a 61-match winning streak in the BBC. Here's Palm serve. Spies gets that one. Good tip to the middle by Lanachek. This will be Willow from behind the 10-foot line. And that one went long. The timeout worked for LB. Yeah, one of the few times this Tiffin Calvert offense was out of system. Just had to kind of scramble to get it over. Goes a little bit long, and Liberty Benton needed a point in a big way. They got it. And he Wells serves this ball. That kill goes to Lanachek. Yeah, Mark, Olivia Miller just makes it look so easy, doesn't she? she? Does, yeah. That's a back set where she's running away from the net, and puts it in a sweet spot. Impressive stuff. 545 assists and 59 sets before this evening for her. Here's Willow. And Willow puts that one away to get her team back within one. Now you see the difference when Willow is involved. When Palm was serving, she went to the left-hand side to serve the left-hand side of the floor because Willow was on the other side. Smart. Liberty Benton so much better offensively when Willow's involved. Riley Nestrick will enter to play in the front row. Willow serves. There's that left-handed kill. We can chalk that one up to Cameron Shook. Now he keeps serving it up on that left-hand side. Cameron Shook must be an ACDC fan because she's saying, shook me all night long oh. at the net. And what do we got? We have another timeout. We can keep this one right here. If you enjoy this particular volleyball match being replayed for the first time on a Wednesday evening, we will be back in this facility. Chris Leupold and I will be here on Thursday night for yet another non-conference matchup for the Liberty Benton Eagles. They will play their rival from past the Lipstick Vikings. That will air on Friday at 3.30 before you head out to your high school football game. That should be another great matchup. Yeah, it will be. Yeah, yeah Lipstick's been really a, good. They have competed against each other over the years when both were in the BBC. How about this, Miles? You know, sure. these two teams, they, they could play anybody tonight. Absolutely. And they have chosen to play oh, high-quality yeah. competition heading into the tournament. Yeah, it's by design. Both it teams, is, yeah. you know, what do they say? Iron sharpens iron, right? You, Getting closer to tournament time, you want to make sure you're playing your best. And that's something uh, Julie Todd is kind of concerned about, you know, having to move up from D3 to D2. They want to make sure they're playing at their best. Julie Todd has used her second timeout in this opening set. Spies plays that one. Here's the set. And then Willow just pokes it over. And got an eagle in the net. If it was number 10, they assessed that too, Sophia Barber, and we are at set point. Yeah, I don't know how Allie Porter got that ball back up. It looked like it was going to be a point for Liberty Benton. Snuck that hand underneath, gets it up in the air. And this will be Porter trying to serve out set one. Set set again, and the kill attempt by Miller, Hannah Miller. This will be... Nestrick, and the back set. Oh, how about the save that time? Nestrick again. There's your setter making plays at the net, two in a row. Somebody was in the net, and this set's going to come to an end with an eagle in the net. Tiffin Calvert will take the opening set, 25-21. Watching high school volleyball on WOSN.
Season 18 of the Sports Report starts on Friday night. Join Patrick Cameron for a full hour of the most comprehensive football coverage around all season long. That's Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. Hey, Mark. Where are you at this week on Friday? Oh, boy, we got the huge rivalry. Archbold host, hosting uh, Wasian, and uh, that's a rivalry that um, Archbold's kind of dominated here of late. And Coach Sean Moore at Wasian, he's got to get a win in that big rivalry. Or else the Indians might get a ru little restless. Now that uh, that airs it. That's a live telecast. Well, we are live. That's live yeah. on uh, WOSN yeah. on Friday. That's at 7 p.m. I'll be working with the mayor of Northwest Ohio, Randy Roberts. <laughs> Having a good time. You guys are, are as good as it gets, my man. I ah, appreciate that. It's a lot of fun. We just provide the uh, lyrics. The players provide the, the music. Well, I like that. That's good. <laughs> Typically on Friday night, I'll send the game somewhere, so i got to wait and catch you on the replay. Last week I got to catch the second half of your game. It was a really good game you had with uh, Ayersville and Antwerp. Oh, sure was. That was a lot of fun. Well, let's go back to this one because we had a, finally had somebody take a four-point lead, and that was a Tiffin Calvert Center goes right at the end of the opening set. Yeah, Mark, up on the scoreboard in between sets, they talked about Izzy Granger and all the records yeah. that she set. Unfortunately for Liberty Benton, she's at the University of Toledo playing. Yes. They, they could uh, use her on that left-hand side of the floor. Well, Chelsea May, who's at Ohio Northern right now, so a couple of Eagles playing college ball. Pokes to the middle of the floor. This set will be by Jada Todd. And that point ends up going for Riley Westrick. This point goes to Liberty Benton this second set. Yeah, we were talking in between sets. Liberty Benton's going to have to get Nestrick going. You know, they are really doing a good job of limiting Willow Karras at the net. So Nestrick's going to have to make that Tiffin Calvert defense pay. Jada Todd will serve again. That's blocked. Good play by the Barrow Palm. That was Nestrick that had the block at the net. She pushes that ball. And there's a great push. What a look by Hannah Miller. Yeah, the senior so smart. Sees the whole floor. Defense collapses at the net. Well, let's go ahead and just put it where they're not in the back corner. First team all conference in 2021. And I'm going to see if she will be again in 2022 in her conference. Ball's overpass. Yeah. A little joust at the net that time. Liberty Benton's able to get it. A little bit interesting. One official thought that perhaps she had reached over the net. Our R2, but our R1, Sue Phillips, said, nope, it was a legal play. The ball was in the play of the net. And no roofing involved on that one. It was a legal play. Legal play. Speece. There's Willow. She has to tip it with a left hand. What a good push. Nice look by Allie Porter. Now, second time early in this set, they've gone to that. You got to believe uh, Coach Lori Rombach during sets, talk to the, the defensive alignment of Liberty Benton. Girls, we need to take advantage of it. Tied at two as Palm serves Cecilia. And they keep it alive. And then the kill ends up going to Lanachek. Yeah, Lancia came in tonight hitting 383. Absolutely obscene. <laughs> Building off of that one, she's been dominant. Here's Willow. Cannon Miller played that one. And then the overpass, and because of that, Chip wasn't able to get two over tied at three. Yeah, you're kind of shocked when you see an unforced error by uh, Tiffin covered, aren't yeah, you? you are. They have played extremely well. Durkin just got over the net, but a good play by Hannah Miller. And then Durkin makes a good play. And Willow goes off the blocker for a point. Now, all you, you got to do is just give it to, to Willow. Willow will take care of it. The last time Liberty Benton had a lead was in the opening set. They were ahead 8-7. They tied it a couple times in the first set. And then the miss it in that. So Liberty Benton with a two-point lead, which they have not done yet this season. Lead by two. That was a tough read by Palm to let it go or take it. She elected to take it, kind of threw the offense out. Two this long, it's 5-4. Service will go to Lanachek. 
Almost hit one of our camera girls down there on that, sir. Yeah, Alexi Wilder, she's, yeah. she's used to it. She had jammed finger last week against Wapak. Alexi was telling us how she used to dominate oh. third period gym at, in volleyball. Six, four. Serve will be Alyssa Hanny Wells, the junior. And Coach Todd got to be really happy with the response of her Eagles after that first set. Looked like they could have fold. They could fold if they wanted, but they're showing some character here. Speech play back. Still a little deeper than she would like. Oh, what a play by Paul. Miles, over the years of my involvement with, with volleyball as an official and now with WOSM, I've become a fan of a libero play. Oh, it's unbelievable. Cecilia Palm is one of the best we have seen in a long time. Overpass. We'll joust the net and then Willow cranks it up. Spies played that one, but she couldn't get it to a teammate. Ah, uh, shook that just handcuffs Spies. Uses that left hand with a little pace on it. And serve Miss Long. Oh, you can feel the intensity in this building oh, rising, can't you? Yeah, it, it, this is not just your basic uh, you know, Tuesday night high school volleyball no. non-conference match. No, they, and this place is jammed yeah. packed. Big crowd. And, whoa, almost over the back line, but not quite. It had some serious top spin on it, trying to stretch that Tiffin Calvert defense out. Here is Cameron Shook. Oh. It fell on the line. Karis Willow made a dive, kept it alive, and the ball fell on the line. Any part of the ball hits any part of the line, it is in. And here's Claire Spies. Keeps it alive, and then Willow hits. Spies has to dive for that one. That one's blocked. And it fell on the side of Liberty Benton. I, I think Hannah Miller got that one. I'm not sure it would have made it over, but uh, Miller correct. made sure. Yeah, it was up in the play of the net, and she made sure it went straight down. Here's Olivia Miller, the center to serve. She has 24 aces this year. Yeah, just another amazing back set. Olivia Miller, she should be a hand model. Her hands are so exciting. Another miss serve. So it's 10 8 Eagles. Yeah, they're miss serves, but how tight are some of these? Yeah, they're really, close, they, they're really close. The aggressive nature of both teams coming out on their service. Jada Todd to serve. Block was blocked out of bounds. The point will go to Lanachek. I think it was Hanny Wells goes up, tries to get the block along with Gherkin. Good timing. Just comes right back at him. Benton has served eight times in this set. Seven of them have been side out. That's not going to be. Is that going to be a point from the overpass? And just put it away from that. Yeah, it's going to be Allie Porter. Bad pass right up the net. She's going to say, free pizza for me. Tied at 10. Float serve. And that ball gets kicked down. That will be a point. That goes to Porter. Yeah, back to back. Pizza, pizza for Porter. Five out of the last six points have been scored by the Senecas. And I see uh, Karis Willow went over and asked the official about a call. Got her response, and then that was an ace. Right here. Hannah Miller just absolutely showing senior leadership for yeah. Tiffin Calvert. Change serve received to the Eagles. That's blocked. With that point to Lance. And we're going to give the Eagles timeout.
scoreboard is presented by Charles River Inspection Bureau. The very first thing that they get with the research is the Senator for us to hire is hiring. There's a job.com to apply today. They're only a five point run. The Senecas have taken a three point lead in set two. Andy Wells gets the point coming out of the timeout. That works. That's big. If they can start getting something out of that left-hand side of the floor, Tim Calvert's been taking it away. But Hanny Wells delivers for him that time. Only 33 kills on the year, but big one for them. This will be Willow. Lines up and hits to the back row, and it falls in. There's that overspin. That kind of like a top spin lob in tennis. She can get over top, puts that little touch on it where it falls in. Already the third time that she's victimized Tiffany Calvert. First team all Ohio a year ago was Paris Willow. Player of the year in the Blanchard Valley Conference. And I think that she repeats at both of those things this year. She sets Willow and Willow bangs it off the blocker. The timeout works and we're tied at 13. Yeah, that's a lot of height that they went after her with. What Hannah Lana Check and Meyer right at her. Ferris Will says, no problem. I'm Little a strong Jack. girl. Little Jack serves again. Tied at 13. Spice comes in and sets it. And I'm not sure it was blocked. I don't think it's going to get over the net. Either huh. way, the points for Cook and Calvert. Well, you better believe Carly Meyer will argue for a block on that one. She was in position. She was there. Here's that libero, Cecilia Palm. She's just a junior. And Willow tips it open area. It's bumped over. Nice play that time by Miller, Olivia Miller. How about Miller that time? Got a set and did not go across the line or hit the net. And the hello to Willow. Oh, well, we had a moment in the first set where Palm just took one straight from uh, Karis Willow, returned it that time though, couldn't get it too hot, too extra hot on that one. Not oh, Olivia Miller's set though. Oh, fantastic. Avoiding the net, avoiding stepping over the line and still set it perfectly. There's a block. Olivia Miller hit that one over. And then Willow hits that one off the net. And in and out, it's in. I think it's the right call, Mark. I would agree yeah. from where we're at. Yeah. Definitely saw it fall in. How many points has Tiffin Calvert got, though, just by going back corner when no one's there? And a check. Serves. And Willow winds up. There's Palm kept it alive. And four hits. Good effort. <laughs> oh, boy. How fun is that? Scrambling everywhere. Elite level effort from Tiffin Calvert. Coach is saying, find Wood with it. Well, good luck finding Wood against Calvert. Hanny Wells to serve. From behind the 10-foot line, we're going to point to Hannah Miller. Back row attack from her. Snapping it off from back of, behind 10. Just handcuffed Hanny Wells. There's Ali Porter to serve. Good serve. Spies has to go get that one. And then Willow cranks it up, but she hits the ball to Porter. Well sets. Palm gets it. Spies got that one. Nice play. Yeah, it was almost a catch and throw. Yeah. And the ball is tipped over the net by Hannah Miller for a point. Uh, impressive body control by Hannah Miller. Tries to time it up. Sees that it's going to be off. Hangs in the air just long enough to poke it over. There's Porter to serve again. Her team leads by two. Paris Willow. Did not get the ball in play. It's a three-point lead. Three points at 13 to 10. That's when Ruby Benton took a timeout and got back in it. I thought that one might have gone wide. Yeah. Oh, this, oh, 
good effort that time by Hannah Miller to go down the line, but she missed the sideline. Hey, she missed, but good. Man, how about the pace that she put on that one? Got to hold that one, didn't she? Goodness gracious. Here's Karis Willow. Tipped over by Miller. Karis Willow got a hand on that to save it to Wells, Hanny Wells. Here's Hanny Wells playing that ball. Spies will set this one. Free ball to over. And then the kill from the corner of Cameron Schluck. They have not set the left-handers on that side very often, but that was effective. Yeah, Olivia Miller freezes the defense. Nobody is able to get over because they don't know where she's going to go with it. Here's Cameron Schluck to serve. Nestrick gets it blocked. Looks like Carly Miller, Carly Meyer got that one. Now here's the scary thing about Meyer, just a freshman, Mark. Tall and talented. We're going to sub will come in for Liberty Benton. This will be number nine, Lindsey May, a 5'10 sophomore, will come in. It's a four point lead. It's put so much pressure on you with their serve. Olivia Miller runs that one down. Gets it set. Spies will set this one. Willow hits it, but it goes out. Next ball she could to get to it, but couldn't make a play on it. Timeout with the best. They're state champs in 2020, and this happens to be an even numbered year. <laughs> well, it's a very talented squad. Yeah, a is, a, a program that celebrated their 700th win earlier this year in August. Uh, Mark, and you look at the roster, not a ton of seniors. Oh, yeah. Three seniors yeah. on their team. They lost the state champion to Knoxville in 2021. They lost in the regional final, the regional semis to the state champion to Bremen in 2019. But how about Liberty Benton? They were state champions in 2019 and 2021 as well, so they've got a pair of state championships in uh, this decade. Well, both coaches done a tremendous job. Julie Todd does such a wonderful job with Liberty Benton, doesn't apply too much pressure, lets girls play. Well, her set was kind of low, she had to just free ball it over. Andy <laughs> Wells pushes it to the back. Keep it alive, and they get a point out of it. Katie Howard got that point. Yeah, Sophia Barbara, I have no idea how she got that ball up in the air with her left hand. Here is Spies to serve. Yeah. But an overpass, yeah. that one is put away by Gerken. So well, here comes Liberty Benton. Oh, we got somebody in the net. Now they're going to stay in the net. Thank you, Miles. Uh, it's 2 17 now as they take the point off on my score sheet and give it to Tiffin Calvert. A uh, huge momentum killer, though, right? How about that? Liberty Benton looked like they were going to get back in this. And he well sets, and Dick had mistimed it, or there's some miscommunication between the two of them anyway. And now Tiffin Calvert is two points away from taking the second set. And Gurkha just pokes it to the back row to break the run. Looks like she punched it back there. <laughs> it sure did, a little bit of knuckleball. Data Todd. 5-5 five, five senior will serve this ball. And a diving effort. Just placed the ball where nobody from Eagles could get to it quickly. 
Six point lead and back to serve out the set is Hannah Miller. Sits it to the middle of the floor. There's that freshman we talked about a moment ago, Meyer, with that hit. Here's Henny Wells again. And they kept it alive. And Henny Wells hits it on the net. This seems like Miles. They make big play after big play after big play. Absolutely insane level of defense. Two times on that last point. It looked like it was going to hit the floor. Not to be denied. This Tiffin Calvert defense, absolutely sensational. Set number two goes to the Seneca from Tiffin Calvert. Time 25 18. Set three coming up after this. You're watching high school volleyball. The Our scoreboard is presented by Charles River and Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio. They're hiring. This is job.criver.com. And apply today. Mark Shine and Miles Holiday. Miles, I'm, I'm not sure I've seen a better defensive team as far as reaction to the ball and keeping them hitting the floor last season from Calvert tonight. Well, think about their formula, right? Tough on the service, unbelievable service game and then deny you any points by scrambling. Yep. That is a tough team to defeat. How many times in this game, this match already that we've thought that the ball is going to hit the floor, and yeah. we're just surprised that it's back up in the air. <laughs> Coach, uh, Coach Rombach's got to be absolutely excited to watch the defense. Well, you get ready to mark a point down, and all yeah. of a sudden the ball is headed back across the other way. Yeah, that, that's a culture thing, right? It is. That's not something you just turn on. That's something you work on and you take pride in at practice. TV44 is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year, and WSN is a part of that celebration. Would you donate $40 as a thank you for 40 years of local broadcasting in this region? Donate online at wtow.com backslash donate or call 419-339-4444. Now, Mark, how many years have you been part of that? Uh, 22. Wow. This is 22. 22 years. Congratulations. That's a great milestone. Well, they can't find anybody else. <laughs> and, you know, you, you work cheap. And, <laughs> no, well, no, and no. I've had a lot of fun, Miles. I, I, you know, I, I, I suppose uh, people say, well, you're going to work. No, no it's not work, is it? Yeah. In any it's... way, shape, or form. I, I enjoy the prep for yeah. it. Yeah. I enjoy competition of young men and young ladies like we're seeing here this evening. I enjoy getting out and seeing people and working with different. It's just a very. It's, I've been blessed. I've been, yeah, is it? Sure tell you that. It's a great job. But we love doing it, and you know who else is having fun? Tiff and Calvert. They're having, <laughs> They're fun right having now. a blast. Let's see what they get off to a good start in this set. As the service is done by their center, Olivia Miller, and Kaya yeah. Willis says, "This this set out right." Well, uh, you need a big point to get you started. You know, let your big gun get it going. Karis Will says, boom. Well, let's say, first of all, we got a good pass and we got a good set to take place from uh, uh, Alyssa Henny Wells, and then Willow did the rest of it. And we got four contacts. And I say it's going to be four against Liberty Benton. Interesting if. if Tiffin Calvert will serve Karis Willow again. And the problem with serving her is that you, if it's a good first pass, she's in a good position to make you pay for it. They seem to be finding her with as many serves as they can. That was Barbara played that last one across. This will be a back set to Handy Wells, and that will be four contact. And talking about serving Willow, Coach Todd did say it's one of the things teams have Tried to go to a little bit this year, wear her down by serving her, making her work extra. Uh, hit, it doesn't work. She goes for that one. That ball is put away at the net by Allie Porter. <laughs> Allie Porter, third time in this match that she's gotten some free pizza at the net. Willard gets that one, she missed the sideline that time. Tried to go down the line, just missed it. Yeah, Lori Rombach's got to be excited that her team, you know, a lot of times you win the first two sets, you kind of relax. No, they're coming out. They're swinging. They want to put this away in three. 
Little has to roll shot that one. And that kill goes to the left-handed Lanachek. Five consecutive points, Tiffin Calvert to open up this set. And another example of how Olivia Miller controls the whole floor. You don't know where she's going to go with the set. Defense wasn't able to get in the way of Lanachek. Free point. Well, how many times have they found that soft spot in the middle and you see him diving for the ball? Yeah. Off balance, unable to make the pass. They're swimming this thing outstanding. Uh, Hannah Miller, she's given us at least three different variations of her serve. That time, just a drop ball. And, wow. She had that back line and she just missed. Yeah, you're not kidding. That was about as close of a miss as you can get. Somewhere Jack, John McEnroe saying, they hit the line, they hit the line. Katie Collard just checked in a moment ago. There's a kill that will go to Atlanta Check again. Atlanta Check, got to be at least 6'2", maybe 6'3". But the thing that's impressive, Mark, is she gets off the floor quickly. She does. <laughs> Cecilia Palm that serves this ball. Well sets, and Willow goes off a blocker that time. Here's the set again. And that point will go to Alley Porter, and they got it kicking right now. Yeah, snacking on danger, Liberty Benton right now. They could get run out of this third set, down by six. And we were guessing the height of 6-2, 6-3 of Lanichek because Tiffin Calvert, one of those teams that doesn't include the heights on the roster. There's that serve. That Falls to the middle of the floor to get a dive to try to play it. And there's two of them there. I'm not sure whether it was Shook or whether it was Lanachek. One of them put it away. And we're going to get an LB timeout. It's nine to Calvert. The center to the other roll. You want some high school down balls at the end of that. WSN scores after the easiest way to follow the local high school sports. So more more schools, more sports, more scores at WSN. WSN the App Store or the Android Play Store. Seneca's got it going, Miles. Oh, this year they are absolutely on fire. Oh, timeout by Coach Todd. She wants to make sure her girls get their minds right because the body language was saying, uh, we're in a world of hurt. You have covered a lot of sports for a lot of seasons. Is there a sport where momentum is more important than it is in volleyball? Uh, maybe basketball. Maybe. You know, as well as Brock, but she plays it. But I have found when you have really good players, momentum is easy. Tip to the open area. That's going to be a point. Now you see the frustration setting in for Liberty Benton as they trail by eight now. But uh, if Tiffin Calvert loses, Again this year, I'd like to see that team. That's going to be a really good team, isn't it? Yeah. There's Willow, takes the string. Well, maybe that'll be the big point for this Liberty Benton team to springboard them back in this third set. A lot of things have to go right for them to steal this first set, but you can't think big picture, Mark. You got to think one point at a time when you're down this big. Justin Calvert with runs of six and four. Willow serve. Olivia Miller tracks it down. Gets to set. There's Cecilia Palm again. And there's the kill from Cameron Shook. Yeah, Shook has had herself a big early part of this third set. But again, it was Palm that set it up. Mark, how sensational has Cecilia Palm really, been? She is really, really good. She uh, handles the. The digs very well, but she can also set. Here's Willow from behind the 10 foot line. That's blocked. Popped up in the air, hit across. And that's the kill. That goes to Cameron Shook. It's kind of like going to the carnival. Remember the old game where you'd shoot at the ducks? Yeah, yeah it's kind of like that. There's no defense at the net right now. It's all free shots. And there's an ace that misses. Liberty Benton has uh, served three times in this set. They've been side out all three times. Let's see if they can get a point here. Now Spies, one of their best ones behind the line, 21 aces. Olivia Miller tipped it over. Nestrick gets that one. 
about the job that time of Porter just to keep it alive. Their speech will set this one from the libero position. Crickens hit. And then a big kill by Cameron Shook, and she is having a magnificent set number three. And Shook is just absolutely sensational at the net. Getting point after point from her. This is a deadly Tiffin Calvert front line. There's Allie Porter's serve. Yeah. Annie Wells will set. Gherkin. And Gherkin hits it off the Palm that time. Yeah, it looked like Palm was kind of caught in between. Handcuffed her a little bit. Didn't know if she should let it sail. Couldn't get her hands up in time. Of course, Gherkin, she brought some pace on that one. Good. Here's the uh, service by Jada Todd, who just re-entered. Right back row and set. And Lydia Miller set. That kill was by Hannah Miller. Back to a nine point lead on our Charles River scoreboard. Uh, you always hear that adage uh, clicking on all cylinders, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's a great description of this Tiffin Calvert team. Shook will serve, finally out of the front row, overpass. That time by Hannah Miller. Took it right along the net and dropped it in. Mark, when she made contact, she was darn near by the official. Right. And was able to still get the angle off of that. Unbelievable play. Ten point lead here in set three for the Senecas. Speech plays. Jada Todd will set and Gherkin hits long. Everybody looks for a touch, nobody sees one. 16-5. Here comes Hanny Wells. Alyssa will check in. And she replaced uh, Emily Ike. Now, one of the things I really like about Tiffin Calvert, like they get the ball on the serve and they go. They don't wait around, they don't dribble it into the ground. Block. Speed sets. Here's Hanny Wells' tip. And then trying to get to the sideline and missing is Hannah Miller. They've not missed many of those. Yeah, I think she might have even got in the net. Definitely helps Liberty Benton out. Down by 10. They need all the help they can get. Caitlin Erdzak serves. I like the ball. I like the ball. I like the ball. I like the keeps it alive and then yeah. played by Porter. Yeah. And there's a kill at the net. Official in my way. I'm not sure who was throwing him. Yeah, went off of Weber into the net. Okay. She tried to block, but she was too far off the net. Hit off her forearm, go straight in. And through the blockers, the point is Hannah Miller. Serve was the first time that LB has scored on serve in this set. Then they, at that point, go against them. Hannah Miller delivers another point and then looks at her teammates with confidence and says, Let's go. And there's a face that was talked about. It takes it back to a 10 point margin. Yes. Official talking to a yeah, score. I had 18 on my score sheet. I think that's what we're looking at. There yeah, 18 7. We chalked that up on our Charles Rivers scoreboard. Our scoreboard presented by Charles Rivers and Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio. Charles Rivers hiring. Visit job.zero.com to apply today. It looks like the officials got things squared away. It is 18-7. I could have taken a picture of my score sheet and sent it to him, but there's that plate score. How about that? Back-to-back -back aces by Olivia Miller. She had 24 of those before tonight. They've made a living off the middle of the floor. They have Willow. And Willow will get to hit this one. And that one came almost up. Yeah, a little bit of frustration taken out on that one. Karis Willow yeah. put a little extra on it. That one went all the way into the stands. Now, Mark. If it goes in the stands, should you be able to keep it? Well, I think so. Yeah. Except those volleyballs are expensive. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
in Savannah Banana Baseball, if you catch it. It's an out. Time. I love so it. I think that's great. Now they're going to be in Indianapolis next year in uh, July. It's about the closest to our area. Thinking about going. Yeah. That's block. Willow hits. And it goes out of bounds. And it'll be a Liberty Benton point. It's 29, Tiffin Calvert, as Katie Collard will re enter. And Alyssa Henny Wells will go to serve. Beast did not play that one, but had too much pace to it. And as Lanachek delivers yet again at the net, really just kind of free hitting because the defense not in front of her. Almost made Spies into a dartboard. Andy Wells sets, and Willow with the shot kill. 21-10. Man, what a special athlete. This late into the match and still a springboard. It's like she's on a pogo stick when she takes off. Lindsay May will enter. Talked about her sister Chelsea a little while ago, playing at Ohio Northern. Goes to Here we get a sub. This will be uh, Claire Schoenberger. She will step in to serve. And another one of these talented freshmen on the squad. Because when you've lost a total of six sets all year, you're going to get some players in. That kill goes to Liberty Bank. The uh, Calvin team lost a match to St. Ocean Academy, who was the number nine team in D1, three to one. They lost to Bishop Hartley, which is the number one team in Division Two, uh, two to nothing. And the Cameron shook. Oh, Cameron shook. Have yourself a third set, will ya? Big time. And to complete that thought. Calvin defeated Rooster two to one, so they have lost a total, a total of six sets all season. This is set number 62 right here for them. Gherkin gets that kill. Of course, Liberty Benton's lost a total of seven sets all year. Only lost to the first two of the season, trying to come back from that. Yeah, these are two teams that oh my. deep runs anticipate those in tournament play. Turn. Of course, Liberty Benton this year has moved up to Division Two from Division Three. That kill goes to Hannah Miller, and they are a point away from taking a straight set victory this season. Now, three things that are certain in life: death taxes, and then Miller delivering on the left-hand side. Trying to serve it out. Kirkman says not yet. Lauren Kirkman put that one away. She had 156 kills before this evening. And uh, I guess we've got uh, Caitlin Earljack coming back in to serve. 17 aces on the year for her. Needs a big one here. And she rolls that one over. And Spies plays it. Yellow. And with the extra placement, Hannah Miller scores the final point of the match. I'm down here with Hannah Miller, our player of the game. Hannah. A really good program in Liberty Benton. How are you guys able to win this in three straight? I think we just had, we were playing for each other. Um, we've struggled in past, last week we lost to St. Ursula, and we really struggled to terminate the ball and terminate off a of service receive. And when Karis, their best hitter, is up front, we need to terminate quickly. We can't let her hit on us all the time. So. We did a really good job of terminating the ball when we needed. Well, talking about terminating the ball, left-hand side of the floor, you absolutely dominated. How were you able to get that done? Um, really just being adapt adaptable, and um, I didn't get all perfect sets, but I was able to do something with it. 
and I played lefty a little bit for a little bit there, so, yeah. One of the big things about what you guys do and why you're successful, your service game is out of this world. You were fantastic from behind the line today. Broke out all kinds of serves. What's your philosophy? Um, think positive. If you think you're going to miss their serve or think I'm, I don't miss the serve, you're going to miss your serve. So I just thought I'm going to make this serve. I'm going to hit this exactly in the spot that I want. Yeah, you seem like a real close-knit group. When I asked if we could interview, you wanted everybody to come be interviewed as well. Are you guys a real close team? Yes, that was the biggest thing. I feel like last year um, we didn't perform as well because we weren't as close. We were performing for ourselves. We wanted to win for ourselves instead of winning for the team. And this year we all wanted to win together. We all wanted to win as a group. You guys look like a real confident group. I know you have big plans for the tournament. What's it going to take for you guys to win it all? Uh, staying steady. We have a lot of crazy players on our team, and they get really hyped, but then they also have that drop. So I think the biggest thing is just staying steady and keeping our serve received consistent. Well, congratulations on a huge win tonight. Keep it moving forward. Hannah Miller, our player of the game. Thank you, Miles. Always appreciate a Miles Holiday interview, and thank you, Hannah Miller, for Speaking with Miles, it's been an exciting night of volleyball here. The freshman in two very exciting sets. Match was won by Liberty Benton. The JV match, likewise, a very exciting match. It went three. That was won by Tiffin Calvert. Tiffin Calvert wins the varsity match 25-21, 25-18, and 25-11. With that, Tiffin Calvert goes to 19-2 on the season. They are 15-0 in their conference, the SBC. They have another match tomorrow night against Lakota. They'll wrap up their SBC season, and then they go into the tournament when they will play the winner of Cardinal Stritch and Sadusky St. Mary's, and that will be at Tiffin Calvert on October 20th. Liberty Benton, they will drop to 18-3 on the season. They were 9-0 in the Blanchard Valley Conference, winning that particular league. They will play Lipsick in a non-conference match here on Thursday night, and you can see that on WSM. Friday at 3.30, and following that, they will go into the District 2 tournament where they will play October 18th here against the number 13 seed, Toledo Rogers. Thank you, Miles, for what you did this evening. We want to thank the athletic director here. That would be Nate Irwin. We want to thank our crew tonight. That would be Lexi Waddle, Megan Sherrick, who did the work here in the uh, gym, and Megan will take this back to the station to edit together. We want to thank Charles River for being our sponsor this evening. In three sets, Tiffin Calvert will defeat Liberty Benton. You've been watching high school volleyball on WOSN.